He was not summoned in this country. A faraway foreign land. Oh, this has to be, uh, Lancer. The land is always covered in white. The sky is always covered. Oh, Berserker. And the castle is built within a hidden mountain. It is always winter in that land. Coldness and stagnation, barrenness and longing. As they cut all ties with the parent present world and await the reproduction of the miracle, they're like living corpses. The cold winter air steals their human warmth and the stagnant world does not allow them a new lifestyle. The family is the seeker of the Holy Grail. Spring does not come for the Einsburn family until their wish is fulfilled. It has been 10 centuries since they started the search for the Holy Grail. As they used every possible method to obtain their gold, they were eventually able to forge the Grail. But even then, all they can build is the vessel. The divine mystery that should dwell in there is empty, and they keep building vessels that will never be filled but a foreseeable end comes to them. They perform a ritual to fill the vessel with hope from with outsiders. The result is both a success and a failure. The Holy Grail is made. The Holy Grail should be filled with that method and they make enemies uh, at the same time. Even though they should be the owners of the Holy Grail, they have been degraded down to the common magi that donate help. Their tenacity is abnormal. No, they have been obsessed since this th time a thousand years ago, when they almost obtained the Holy Grail. They broke the rules and they constantly pulled out the strongest card. In the first one, they did not have to do such a thing. In the second one, they finally found a loophole in the rules. In the third one, they summoned what they shouldn't have. And in the fourth one? They were sure of their victory, having the strongest card in its master. The result was a total failure. The servant and the master they selected betrayed them. The man destroyed the Holy Grail, leaving behind his daughter in the Winter Castle. They were infuriated with the man's betrayal and they lamented their mistake. Outsiders cannot be trusted. Their family, with their per perfected magic circuits, will be the only ones to obtain the Holy Grail. They had insurance to begin with. And on the fifth one, they finally prepared the strongest master and servant. It was him. Two months before the Holy Grail War began, every rule was broken for him, Berserker, to be summoned. The days that followed were only to hurt the master. The command spell engraved all over the girl was used to control Berserker. Ah, uh -huh. God, don't make me feel bad for Elia too. It did not go. It did no no good as a magic circuit, and only drained her life away. Even the slightest move on Berserker's part caused the girl to scream in pain. It was only natural. The Holy Grail would appear in two months. The only things keeping him in this world were the girl's magical energy and her command spell. Berserker was not created from the magical energy of the Holy Grail. Even if the girl may have been special to keep Berserker in this world, using her own magical energy was like having her life taken away. Knowing that, they still did not allow her to rest. They abandoned them in the winter forest filled with hungry beasts. They gave them over to the possessed corpses. They threw them in a waste yard full of failures. The only way for the girl to survive was to rely on the giant she had been given. She survived the harsh trials that could not be called training. She would let the giant attack the oncoming enemies. She would let out screams of anguish, but she allowed him to attack every one of her enemies. He does not know himself, when the present becomes a special one for him. In contrast to her young appearance, she hated whining. Everything that came out of her, her mouth was an insult. She must instinctively know that she was going to murmur something she would get stronger when she would insult and hate someone. The girl scorned Berserker for being ugly and cursed his existence. It was only natural. The girl would not have had to suffer if he had not existed. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame her for being upset. She would not have been thrown in hell if she had not been chosen as a master. I feel fucking bad for her now. God damn it. Fuck you, game. The girl insulted the giant every chance she got and used him to take out her anger. The pain had lessened by the time she mastered Berserker's control, which was when the Holy Grail showed signs of its appearance. The girl took away the giant's sanity as, in as if in revenge, 
treating him as a mad warrior, but Iari knew that this was the girl's desperate opposition. The girl did not did so to hide her weakness. She walked with pride as if saying she could live alone, and that she did not need any friends or collaborators. It was a, a bluff to ignore the fact that she was fated to have nothing. I mean, she's lived her whole life, it seems, in a complete abandonment. I mean, as they said, her father left her alone. I mean, that's pretty fucked. She was left in the wilderness alone with Berserker. Someone that she can't have a real conversation with. Even if he had his mind, she can't... What are we going to talk about? Oh, how's your life? Eh, it was all right. Kind of sucked. I had to kill a bunch of things. Oh, wow. How's your life? Eh, it's been full of abandonment. Of course, she's lonely and sad. God damn it, now I want to spend time with her. I want to hug her and just, you know, carry her around on my shoulders. Oh, it's really sad looking, but really sweet at the same time. The winter forest. And you really get to see how tiny she is. The girl timidly touched the arm covered in blood. Surrounded by hungry beasts, the girl was prepared for her death, but desperately denied it. At that time, he was not able to move without an order from his master, and he was the first to be attacked by the beast. The beast's fangs pierced his arteries, tendons, and eyeballs. With the scene in front of her, the girl screamed. As he had his sanity taken away, he cannot recall what she said back then. But the girl yelled not for her sake, but for his. Even though her body was destroyed, whenever he swung his sword, she endured it for his sake. Oh my god. Was she really in pain the entire time that he fought everyone else as well? Because if so, that- oh, god. That's why they were both covered in blood. The giant was covered in the beast blood, and the girl was covered in her own blood. He remembered the for winter forest. The weight of the girl that rested on him crying tears of anguish. And he realized, in that small cold castle, he was the only one she talked to. Oh my god, oh, I just want to take care of her now. Her figure appears in his vision. It's just like that time, the tears he did not see on her face since she became a complete master. The girl is running to him in tears, and the man slashes her. With a single slash, the golden foe takes away her light forever. Her face is covered in red. She still runs in spite of that, but falls over a piece of rubble as she is blinded. The slender body falls over. God, this music's really fucked too. There, the enemy's sword is brought down. The sword misses her heart. The girl is coughing up blood as her lung must have been pierced. It is not an instant death, but it is fatal. With her eyes blinded, her lung pierced, and her servant eliminated, she is nothing now. So she should at least die peacefully. It might be a salvation if she w should just go to sleep right there, but... <laughs> The girl crawls, leaving traces of blood. Crying in pain, she crawls towards the giant. Man, I don't like it when little kids are in pain. Stop it. How much power was left in him? Breaking the chains with all his mighty charges at the man. Look, if I was the servant and I heard, <laughs> like, you know, like a nine-year-old girl or whatever, like 12, she's really young, crying and stuff for, like, me to help. Oh, <laughs> fucking chains of heaven? What are these bullshit? These are little ribbons, buddy. <laughs> and then that's what would happen to me as well. The demonic lance is thrust. The hard piercing lance impales the giant. That ends it. The man pulls out the lance as if nothing has happened and the remaining power in the giant completely disappears. His body disappears. All the power that was given his body was form has disappeared. All, so all that is left for him is to disappear. As he ran out of magical energy, there is no way for him to stay in this world. He falls. But in his last living moment, he sees the girl fumbling around for him. Power returns to his falling body. The law of magic that constructed him. The regulation of the world that hates inconsistencies. The body that is crumbling away like sand. 
He pushes aside all power trying to eliminate him, using his own power of will. He cannot disappear yet. He is probably the only one she relied on. He has to answer the solitary girl that believed in him, although she insulted him. Oh my god, this is heartbreaking. This is really hard. Actually. Oh my god. Blinded, the girl crawls with her hands outstretched. She must want to feel him, but she cannot see now. The blood-stained hands grope through empty space, trying to verify his presence. There is no power left in him. There is nothing he can do. Berserker will fade here and die here. His body has died and there is no power left to support him. But that cannot be allowed. His mind is dead. Supporting his body with his will that should no longer exist, he parts from this world. His body is still standing, just as it was when he was invincible. It is as if to say his body has been invincible until the very last second for the girl that depended on him. And the girl reaches him. The hand that was grasping through empty space finally touches something. <laughs> Coughing up blood, the girl crawls to the hard figure. She cannot see, but she can feel him. Berserker isn't lost yet. She cannot see anymore, but Berserker is still strong like always. Oh, stop it! You're making me look like a real asshole! Strength fades from her body. She is hurt and scared, but it's alright as long as she's here. He's always protected her. God, I wanna just give her a fucking hug! And tell her everything's gonna be alright. Stop it. He was scary, but he was really kind. His big body was like that of a dad. She wanted him to pick her up once. It's just heart wrenching. She rests her body on him. It feels as though he'll rest one as a, he'll rest one of his big solid hands on her head. It's probably true. He should be patting her head when she opens her eyes. Mm. Her body is cold, recalling the force from that time the girl smiles. It happened so long ago. Recalling the giant that protected her even when injured, the girl peacefully falls asleep. This music's so fucked. That needs to stop. The man reaches out for the girl that went asleep. I yell. I don't consider the personal danger, nor what could happen to me. Which is why I stay down. The man stops. Look, I just want to save Tosaka. Sorry, Elia, but if it had that sweet moment, I probably would have jumped. Okay, that would have been heart-rending enough to me for actually to like jump down and say, Stop it! She's just a cute girl, stop it! You piece of shit! It would be enough for me to do that. But, if it was Ren, I'm immediately jumping down, of course. I'm sorry, I just want to save her. I'm very particular on who I save as a hero. You only save the ones you love the most. And that would be Ren right there. Behind him stands Shinji, surprised at the sudden intruder. The man smiles ominously. My shaking throat speaks out before I can. But, there's no way that man will stop. Oh my god, I didn't need to see that now. Oh, that's just heartbreaking now. It was sick before, now it's just cruel. I couldn't even tell him to stop. The man pulls out something out of the girl with a smile. A red dripping object that looks like a fruit. The thing in the man's hand is the girl's heart. My mind burns down. Fear of being killed mixes with my desire to kill him. Jesus. With the crimson object in his right hand. He does. He shoots off one of his numerous noble phantasms at me. Ouchie. Skip, yes. And we walk toward her, the center of the hall. 
How is this so much different? I don't know. With the sunlight coming from the ceiling, the girl is sleeping amongst the rubble. Her eyes will never open again. Looking closely, the girl is not white at all. She is red all over, and she looks nothing like she did before. What? D dick? Obviously not. Which is why I stayed down. Eh, whatever. I know. I've been taught that there are people I can save and people I cannot save. I know that it will put it will put my own life in danger if I try to do something beyond my capabilities. But still, I still wanted to save her. Yeah, I wanted to as well. Doesn't mean I can. I don't want a child dying in front of me. I don't either. It's not like I like watching a little girl get killed. Do you think I got a pleasure out of that, buddy? No, well, I knew I couldn't stop it. I don't want anyone dying in front of me. I don't either. It's funny how that works. I don't think anyone wants someone dying in front of them unless it's rare instances, rare instances. Shinji, everyone wants him to die in front of them. No, but I mean, of course no one wants to see someone die in front of them. Come on, dude. It's more painful and scary than anything else not to ha be able to help someone asking for help. Of course it isn't. Well, it's not the most scary thing. I mean, the more painful and scary thing would be uh, you get it, you're on the receiving end asking for help and seeing no one helping you. That's the more painful and scary thing I'd imagine. But you know. Eh, apples and oranges, I guess. But I mean, of course I don't want, I didn't want any of those things. But I knew I couldn't do anything. Shira's different, he thinks he can save everyone. Uh, but I knew it was useless to do it. I knew it wasn't going to prevent anything. There's no way I can apologize. I don't know her well enough to apologize to her. Yeah, you can. Sorry we didn't get here 10 minutes earlier. This girl is unrelated to Emiya Shiro. I know that without having to be told so. So why? Why are these eyes crying? Because a girl died in front of you? I didn't, but whatever. I didn't. I don't go for that far. Maybe that's why it was bad. You're supposed to be stupid and confusing to her, I guess. I don't know. Isn't it? Is it an inquiry? Tosaka's eyes are serious. Oh. There's no other way to explain it. After glaring at me. So. Yeah. Here I was trying to be a normal human being and not jump out in front of people. She tries to open a lid that I've kept closed for so long. Yeah. Oh, please, girl. Please open his eyes to the real truth. それは他人が一番のやつだっている。けど、そもそも自分っていうのは計りにかけられない別格なのよ。言うなれば計りそのものでしょ。なのにあんたはその計りを壊して。See, I'm the very, I'm one, as much as I say I care about myself, I would put my life on the line for some people, in very specific cases, like she just mentioned, but that's it. Uh, Shiro's 180 of how I view things, it's just really just, he is breaking everything. Yeah,それでも構わない。あんたが自分のない、ただ生きてるだけの人間ならそれもいい。けど、シロは自分があるじゃない。そんな確固たる自意識がある癖に自分をないがしろにするなんてできないのよ。It's because he viewed himself as dead. I mean, I I hold that conviction that his survival is what's driving this idea because he doesn't feel like he deserves to have lived. そんなことを続けてたらいつか必ず壊れるから。And we've already had hint of it where he said he's already died there. 
So he's already feels that he doesn't exist anymore. That he he's just this empty husk. No way. I can't break down. I'm doing this so that I won't break down. I'm trying to save people that I could not save so that I can hide my he hold my head high. いえ、もう十分に壊れてるわ。あの、だから言ってよ。十年前に何があったかは知らない。けど、あんたがおかしくなってるのはそれが原因なんでしょうから。A little bit of advice here, Ren. You really don't want to tell someone with survivor's guilt that that it's uh, that you're so screwed up from that. Usually, anyone with a mental problem, you don't want to usually or mental issue. You don't want to usually say that that's why you're screwed up. Tosaka looks like she's crying. Why does she have to make a, have to make a face like that? Oh, just give her a hug, please. It's as if she knows I'll live a thankless life, so she's trying to stop me. It's like she's seeing the future. Which was really dark. それがずっと変だって引っかかってた。魔術師として6の教育を受けていないくせに殺し屋になっても I got used to seeing them. Well, it's true that it wasn't my first time seeing a corpse. The students at school, a writer who died in a contorted position, and even the girl sleeping in the hallway of me na in front of me now. I think they died a natural death compared to that time. This isn't a natural death. Writers isn't a natural death. Fire is more natural, I guess. But I mean, it's, none of these are natural deaths. But she's wrong. The fire ten years ago saved him, Yashiro. But at the same time, you killed yourself in that fire. You viewed yourself as dying because you don't view yourself as worthy to have lived while everyone else died. That cannot be the main reason why Tosaka is criticizing me now. Shigeru, Tosaka. Buddy, that's obviously not how you view it. Then enlighten me. My heart aches when I answer. My body is telling me that it's a lie. Yeah, no shit, buddy. Look. I have had my fair share of novels that I've read. No, but there's just so many. It's, there's no reason how that wouldn't affect you. There's no way that isn't didn't affect your life. I would really question your sanity if you said it didn't affect your life and you were telling the truth. You would be really fucked if that were the case. No, of course it was a lie. Jesus. I was going to get worried and be like, oh, there's no way I'd mischaracterize this guy that bad. The people who died there. そんなのあるもんか。キリツグは俺を助けてくれただけだ。それに取られるも何もその時は。Come on, but you just it is hard, but you have to at least admit it. She cares about you and she wants you to feel better. She wants you to take care of yourself. She wants the best for you. I had nothing to give. I saw many corpses. I died at that time and was reborn. I do not have any regrets. My eyes lost hatred there. My hands lost anger there. My legs lost hope there. My self lost itself there. So why? Why do I have this self-consciousness that Tosaka speaks of? I have accepted death. I knew I was going to die. Even if my body... Fucking Christ. 
was saved in that situation, there's no way my mind could have been saved as well. At that time, I was empty and I just admired something scared. Sacred. I remember now. No, I didn't put it into my, my memory. So I didn't realize until now that I wasn't... It's what really saved me. Shiro... A world like hell, in the place where everyone but me died, I was saved. Nobody saved me, and I wasn't able to save anybody. And at the very end, he granted something that I thought was a miracle. <laughs> It's so wonder wonderful and such a miraculous thing. That's why I admired it. I had nothing and there was nothing remaining here in me. I admired the first thing that came into my sight. That's the only thing I had. That's the only emotion I, ever, I felt after I was saved. I was happy, I cried. That's all I could think about. So that's all the emotions I could create. <laughs> it's distorted for me to put priority of, uh, on others before me. There is something seriously wrong with the procedure. それがおかしいって言ってるのよ。いい。助かったならまず自分を大事にしろって言うの。死んじゃった人たちには悪いけど、あんただけが助かったって言うのはただの偶然よ。ならその幸運を噛み締めなさい。それだけひどい目にあった
She sighs as she says this. The sun is setting. We return to the hall when the sky turns red. Why couldn't we have just stayed here? The corpse of the girl is not on the mountain of rubble. We just buried her in the courtyard. Why didn't we do that? I won the loot the place. I would have been here all day looting. I don't know if it's normal for servants, but the black giant turned into sand. But we put the sand in the same coffin as the girl. Loot. Uh, we're fucked. Oh, oh, please tell me we meet Lancer. Oh, I hope that's the person we shake hands with, because I'll shake hands with Lancer any day and say, Let's get it, brother. Oh, awesome. Please. Elias Field and Barsaka サーバントは7人しか呼ばれないはずなのに、あいつで8人目でしょ。どう見ても既存のサーバントじゃなかったけど、信じのやつ、どこであんなのと契約したんだか。Well, you would just assume he someone gave him one. An eighth servant, huh? I don't think we can treat that man as a servant. He is a heroic spirit that dominates all others. A god. He has a uh, seemingly infinite supply of noble phantasm, and he is a devil without any human emotion. Two-thirds. He took whatever he wanted. I mean, part of the poem it's, or epic itself is that no woman to his, her man or whatever, or no daughter to her father or whatever. He took whoever he wanted. That's the entire point of him. He did whatever he pleased. No one could stop him. I mean, they still lived under him. That's why they sent Enkidook, the gods did, to, you know, rein him in. And then they just ended up becoming friends. And then, then you know... They uh, decided to face Ishtar later on, or he did. He got into an argument because she wanted to, you know, hang out with him, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, sent down the bull of heaven. They wrestled it, beat it. They killed Enkidu. He went all depressed and then wanted to live forever because he saw himself in Enkidu, and then he lost it. Short story. Oh, God, yeah. I'm sorry, but I think he is stronger than Saber. I know she technically won in the Fate route, but I think he's stronger. Let's be real here. Tosaka doesn't sound as sharp. It doesn't seem like it's because there's a new enemy. Why is he here? Oh, <laughs> あれだけの数の宝具を持ってるんだから、その力は一級品でしょ。けど、実質はどうなのかなって。私、あいつとバーサーカーに掃除力差はないと感じてたんだけど。I mean, but he has just so much offensive power that it doesn't matter. そもそも英霊の強さは召喚された土地での知名度によるんだろう。なら、ギルガメッシュなんていうこっちじゃ知ってる奴はそうはいないぞ。それはそうだけど、知名度による実力の変動だって相当大きいものじゃないわ。私に
生前にあいつが集めた財宝を収納した蔵こそがあいつの宝具なんだと思う。Well, so、heaven, そっか you know. ならバーサーカーがかなわないのも当然よね。英霊たちにはそれぞれ弱点がある。すべての宝具の原型を持つんなら、相手の弱点となるものを持ち出せばいいだけの話だもの。Yeah, and it just happened. Berserker was everything. <laughs> That's right. If there is a chance of victory, it is that he is not a master of these weapons. He is not a wielder that has mastered his weapon to the limit, so I think there's still a way to beat him through sheer luck. <laughs> But with all that aside. <laughs>、uh, because he has blonde hair? <laughs> それはその髪が金色だったからとか。何言ってんだそれならセイバーも金ピカなんて呼んでたはずだ。金ピカすごいぞ。実に意味ありげじゃんか。なんか他に気づいたことがあったからそう口にしたと見た。えー、ここまで来て隠すなよ。トサカ、なんか気づいたんだろうちょ,ちょっと違うってば私のはシロみたいに真面目な話じゃないからあんまり追求しないで嘘つけ根拠もなしで金ピカなんて呼ぶもんかほら白状しろよ父さかあうん父さか after a few seconds she sighs as if she's given up だからそれはあいつ、高価そうなのいっぱい持ってたでしょそれでものすごくお金持ちなんだろうなって。だから、金ピカ。あの金ピカ、すっごい贅沢してそうじゃない。Oh my god。t e s a g a scratches her cheek while looking away. How scary. It seems anyone who's rich is called Goldie by t e s a g a What's more scary is that t e s a g a figured out the servant's true nature just because he seemed rich. ともあれ厄介なやつが出てきたものね。八人目のサーバントって時点で破綻してるのに、そいつ自身がジョーカーなんだもの。問い詰めようにも監督役の綺麗は行方知れずだし。Probably... まあ、今はキャスターの方が大事だから、後回しにするしかないんだけど。Yeah, just a tad. That's right. Caster is obtaining more power as we speak. Saber should no, not be able to oppose Caster's control much longer. No. In the worst case, Saber could already be under control. So now. Okay, so now we're back to square one. Absolutely nothing.